George Zimmerman's first-hand account of what happened the night he shot and killed Florida teenager Trayvon Martin is now public. Listen to his interviews with investigators and watch as he retraces his steps from that infamous February night. Tommy Andrus with more detail. This is a reenactment filmed by police the day after Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. Volunteer neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman took investigators through the minutes leading up to his fatal encounter with the teen. He was walking in between the buildings or? He was walking like in the grassy area, like up towards, kind of between these two poles. During questioning at the Sanford, Florida Police Department following the shooting, Zimmerman offered this account of what happened. I heard him say, you got a problem? And I turned around and I saw him and I went to go for my phone and I reached for my pocket and I was looking for my phone. And he just punched me in the nose. The volunteer neighborhood watchman says he fell down and got into a struggle with Martin and wound up on his back with the teenager on top slamming his head into the concrete. My jacket came up and my shirt came up and exposed my firearm. And that's when he said, he like sat up and looked and said, you're going to die tonight. My and I felt him take one hand off my mouth and slide it down my chest. And I just pinched his arm and I grabbed my gun and I aimed it at him and fired one shot. The Martin family's attorney says Zimmerman's credibility is in question, since he believes Zimmerman lied on his written statement the night of Martin's death. He profiled and pursued Trayvon Martin, and he didn't put that. He conveniently left that out of the written statement. Zimmerman is charged with second-degree murder and has pleaded not guilty. I'm Tommy Andres reporting. Parents, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are?